Good evening, I'm Jeremy Maskell. Right now, Council Bluffs crews are investigating how a person died. The call to firefighters was just before 6 o'clock this evening, the home near 27th and Avenue H. That's where KETV Newswatch 7's Nicole Goodrich is live with the latest on the investigation. Nicole. And Jeremy, fire officials tell us they found the body inside of the house here. You can see behind me the fire truck that was in front of this house is just pulling away right now. Crews arrived on scene just after 5.30 today, and they say they saw light smoke coming out of a window of this house, and they say they were able to put the fire out quickly, and it was mostly contained to one room. Neighbors say two young men live in the house, but they haven't seen anyone coming or going in the past few days. So far, officials say the victim has not been identified. There's personnel here from the Council Post Police Department, um, their CID division, our fire marshal's office here in Council Bluffs, and then the medical examiner for Pottawatomie County is here also. They will uh, conduct the uh, investigation to try to determine the cause of death. And we just walked down the driveway and we saw black smoke coming out of both sides of the house. And then we saw the one window in the side was cracked. And we walked over to the front of the house and saw that it was on fire, so I called 911. In addition to the cause of death, the cause of this fire is still under investigation, but we do know that one person is dead here after a fire on the 2700 block of Avenue H in Council Bluffs. We'll bring you more information as we get it. For now, we're live. Nicole Goodrich, KETV News Watch 7.